Hey guys, we got some new updates regarding Galaxy Note 10 and iPhone 11. They're not really that exciting, however, they're hot topic and I do want the views. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven and if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button and don't forget to share. There's not much going on in the new phone world, but there are a few updates that are worth mentioning. So starting with Galaxy Note 10, there was rumors regarding buttonless Galaxy Note 10. We haven't heard anything new regarding that, so that means it's probably a false claim and we like to get a seat buttons. So the main debate regarding Galaxy S10 is the camera system and the way it's going to be laid out. So far there are three concepts that are floating around, but we don't have any solid concrete information regarding which direction Samsung is going to take. The first concept is that Samsung Galaxy Note 10 will have similar display to what Galaxy S10 has, which punch holes and a depth sensor in the front of the screen. The second concept is, of course, camera in the S Pen. We know Samsung is working on that, they have patent filed, however, question is will they have it ready for the Galaxy Note 10 or will they wait for the Galaxy Note 11? And the third concept that has been floating around lately is that the front screen is going to be all screen, no punch hole, no notch, no cameras and the back will have actually a second screen for your selfies and for voice calling. It's still going to have the 4 camera system which including more megapixel camera plus a depth sensor. So this is still concepts that are floating around but nothing major. As you probably saw from our previous video, they're expecting to be two versions. So far we've been hearing confirmations that one might be a 4G and one might be a 5G and one of the phones might be only hitting Europe. But that's unlikely, we're still going to stick around that US will be receiving two phones and probably the rest of the, the world as well. There's still debate whether Samsung is going to use the 25W fast charging. That's really possible that even though the phone is going to be capable of charging at 25 watts, that option is not going to be available unless you purchase it separately. So let's get back to iPhone 11. It seems that Apple users will be disappointed once more. It seems that a major upgrade in iPhone 11 will be the new 3 camera system that you, there's plenty of leaks around and designs and renderings. However, there's still going to be a notch that's not going anywhere. New leaks regarding the case surrounding it and a front screen protector in the case that that will be the case. Not to mention that Apple's signature face recognition will require a camera in the front, so there's no surprise there. The new leaks indicate that Apple will be shipping with a new 18 watt power brick for fast charging capability. However, it seems that the iPhone 11 will continue to use Lightning connector. It looks like Apple still wants to nickel and dime you on the cables and accessories. iPhone 11 also will come with a bigger battery. As expected, everybody's batteries seem to be getting larger and larger, which is something that's very welcome. So that's pretty much it for new updates. We haven't been hearing any new updates lately, and either that's because there isn't nothing else really that companies I want to share, or they're just really good at keeping secrets. However, now that they're about to start production, we most likely we're gonna see a few more designs leaks that, that will show up from the factories. So I'm sorry to Apple users that there's not gonna be anything exciting regarding iPhone 11, but there's actually a reason behind that, so make sure you check out my other videos as to explain why this is happening to Apple. I know some of you wanna comment on my messy background, however, let me stop you there. This is my working desk, and that's why it's messier. It's not a display desk, it's a working desk that I use every single day. So. That's why it's the background's messy. I'm working on a new studio environment, so stay tuned for that.